How have U.S. pro-life groups responded to Trump's COVID-19 crisis response, given that it could permit more deaths? I would expect U.S. pro-life groups to simultaneously support Trump, as they're typically right-leaning, yet simultaneously strongly against his death-permissive approach to bolster the economy during the COVID-19 crisis. We cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself. U.S. President Donald Trump, via Twitter, Given that the problem includes large numbers of deaths, the U.S. president is currently making a trade-off of human lives for the economy. This seems to give rise to a conundrum for U.S. pro-life groups. Question. How have U.S. pro-life groups responded to Trump's stance during the COVID-19 crisis, given that this stance could permit more deaths? A National Review article seems to indicate pro-life groups are reconciling the deaths by arguing that a poor economy will also lead to deaths, but even Republican politicians are arguing that large numbers of dead people will hurt the economy. There will be no normally functioning economy if our hospitals are overwhelmed and thousands of Americans of all ages, including our doctors and nurses, lay dying because we have failed to do what's necessary to stop the virus. Representative Liz Cheney, via Twitter, so it's unclear to me how U.S. pro-life groups can reconcile this. There's nothing to reconcile. Pro-life doesn't mean against needless death, it means anti-abortion. The same is true for the opposite label. Pro-choice means in favor of legal access to abortion, not necessarily in favor of all individual choices, e.g. regarding assisted suicide or drug policies. People supporting pro-life can still support the death penalty, wars, restricted access to health care for the poor, terrorist attacks against abortion providers, denial of health care to pregnant women even in case of a non-viable fetus, etc. Response to the lax attitude regarding human life has been minimal, as that is not their issue, abortions are. The focus during this crisis by anti-abortion groups seems to be to further attack legal access to abortion. The SBA list coronavirus page or the live action news page e.g. focus on denying access to abortion and defunding abortion providers during the crisis. The few responses I was able to find are not from groups, but individuals, and seem to argue in the same direction as you mentioned, relativizing the deaths by downplaying the risk and impact and saying that a weak economy will also have a price. E.g., economic hardship without a clear path to recovery imperils lives too, as evidenced by a 300% spike in calls to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. Targeted isolation of and care for the elderly is entirely possible while allowing the younger and healthier to go about their lives. Others take a more utilitarian approach, weighing the lives saved due to denied access to abortion during the crisis versus deaths from coronavirus. At least some individual people who hold anti abortion views have opposed the economy greater than life view. The following quote is attributed to Representative Cheney, though I was only able to find it by Eric Erickson, letting the virus spread to your parents and grandparents to protect your 401k is not pro-life, Russell Moore argues along the same lines in a NYT opinion piece, though without explicitly mentioning abortion or pro-life. 